The world is going cookie-less and a new era of privacy-friendly digital analytics solution is upon us. Friendly reminder that browsers like Safari and Firefox block third-party cookies by default already today and they own 24% of the market. So this is already happening and you should implement cookie-less solutions now, not one year from now. In this video, I want to show you which solutions might work best for your use case, uh, how they work, and generally what the landscape looks like. Let's get started. Unlike cookie-based solutions, cookie-less ones do not rely on data that is stored on the user browser, uh, but rely instead on other techniques like fingerprinting, server-side tracking, and first-party data. That's the way you can still gain uh, analytics, you can still gain insights on users' journey on your websites, on conversions, on all sorts of events without relying on data stored on the user browser via third-party cookies. In order to demystify a little bit the landscape of analytics solutions, we want to map out four core areas. There is attribution software, which is usually used in B2B SaaS to connect revenue to marketing and sales activities. Uh, product analytics, uh, mostly used for funnel analysis, um, product metrics, often within login environments. Um, there is front-end monitoring, which tends to rely more on health checks and top-level uh, metrics for developers and web managers. And there is digital analytics, what we all know from Google Analytics or Adobe Analytics, for example, um, that provides granular uh, insights on user journeys across web and apps, as well as conversions and specific events. Now, in this video, we want to focus on digital analytics. So with the core use case of understanding uh, users' journeys on your website or app, and uh, primarily seen as an alternative to what has been the standard for the past 10 years, which is Google Analytics. When it comes to digital analytics, the landscape is all pretty new. So there are a lot of tools that um, were born in the past uh, two, three years. Some are a little older, but generally there are a lot of fast movers, a lot of new features being rolled out. And this is set to only accelerate in the next two years. Although the market is new, there are already some companies that are a little bit more uh, new and moving fast on rolling out their product offering and some that are a little bit more established. And the same goes for the use cases. So we have a bit more specific and more niche use cases versus broad solutions that could apply to any website, any app in any industry and possibly with uh, different deployment and customization options. To give you an example, Matomo is a company that uh, has been around for some time. Uh, they offer a uh, really high degree of flexibility when it comes to uh, the setup and uh, can be deployed both on-premises and on cloud. Companies like Ahrefs have ditched Google Analytics years ago for solutions like Matomo and they can provide as valuable, if not more valuable, than what most companies have been using so far. If you're looking for more straightforward and out-of-the-box solutions, visit our analytics and simple analytics are great tools that um, work right away. It requires very little setup. They work out of the box with uh, CMS systems like WordPress, for instance, and can provide you with uh, uh, great data at a very friendly price point as well. So it really depends on the use case. So if you're looking at monitoring website uh, or web app traffic, uh, the level of customization you need, if you need access to an, an API or not, uh, based on that, uh, you can make an informed choice on which solutions might work best uh, for your specific use case. While cookie-less solutions are highly associated to the privacy focus and compliance with privacy laws, it doesn't mean that you automatically comply with GDPR or CCPA, for example. Um, there are certainly great advantages. For instance, one very obvious advantage is that you do not require a cookie banner on your website because you're not really relying on third-party cookies anymore. 
Um, but you're still storing data, you're still processing data, and you're still retaining data. So even if it's uh, uh, first party data, you might still want to uh, understand the implications of your processes, uh, potential data uh, transferring, especially if it involves servers outside of the European Union in the case of GDPR. So to sum it up, it helps a whole lot with compliance, but you still have some work to do. We hope you found these insights valuable. We're exploring the space with you and we constantly roll out new content on the topic. You can visit cookielessstack.com for more information and I hope to see you all in our next video.